Okay. Uh, so I believe. Uh, sorry, Prof. Anissa. Ah, uh, uh, saya tengok dekat saya punya Eurox kan untuk yeah. human capital assignment tu kosong je. Jadi kat mana? Tak, kita dah share dalam dalam uh, group dah. Dalam group, okay. Ah, uh, that's why. Buat dekat situ lah. Buat dekat group and then email you. No, no, uh, no, no. Nanti saya buka dalam Eurox. Eh? Okay. Ah, can, can somebody just resend back the question? Munira ke siapa-siapa boleh? Boleh, boleh. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Any question that you all uh, would like to ask regards to ni? Ada tak? Okay. Sekejap eh. Boleh tak ni? Ada tak siapa yang tak tak sure apa benda ke yang kita tanya ke? Okay. Alright. Not more than 3,000 words. The usefulness of performance management. Okay. Ada tak anybody like to ask? Ada tak siapa-siapa yang tak buat lagi? Yang tak tahu nak buat? Eh, Menggeletar ke? Apa ke? And then um, would like to get some idea? Ada tak? Ada tak anybody? Kamarul okay Kamarul? Kamarul dah habis saja? Saya eh, tak tahu baru habis. Baru dekat nombor. Kan kena ikut uh, prof punya apa? Uh, flow tu kan? Apa tu? The yeah, yeah. line tu. Ah. Yes, yes, okay. Anybody else? Jangan malu-malu eh. Nanti kan saya tak nak you ada masalah nanti kan tak, tak, tak apa tu tak boleh jawab nanti sekarang. Nanti ada problem pula nanti. Anybody yang tak tahu nak buat, nak tanya soalan, it's better that you ask, you ask now lah. Uh, don't be shy eh. Mungkin ada yang tak sure ke apa ke. Uh. Ada, tak ada. Semua okay. Rosita okay Rosita. Uh, saya dah siap dah. Oh dah siap dah. Okey. Tunggu dah. hantar je eh. Ya. Yeah, yeah. Okey. Fatihah dah siap dah. Dah, dah okey dah. On the way Prof. Tak siap lagi. Okey. Camilia hari tu tak masuk kan? Camilia okey tak? Uh, saya masuk kelas Prof. Uh, yang petang tu minta maaf saya tak dapat join. Ah, yelah. Uh. I mean dia petang one lah yang you kata tak oh. dapat join kan. Yang hantar mesej kat saya kan. Uh, uh. Assignment ni okey tak? Uh, gigil jugalah buat. Tapi... Uh, Saya cubalah <laughs> sebab Prof kata the first uh, for introduction mesti ada six sentences. Ah ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Uh, uh, kena ikut follow tu eh. Jangan tak ikut follow eh. Ya yeah, uh. Prof. Cuma uh, saya macam tak pasti bahagian findings tu. Ya yeah, findings uh, tu findings tu mesti semua benda yang dah ada orang discuss tak? Mesti oh, dah ada yang okay. orang discuss. Yang dah ada. Eh? Mesti ada ada ramai orang yang cerita pasal performance management ni bagus tak bagus ke apa masalah ah itu semua dalam findings kiki kiki ah lepas tu you ceritalah example apa benda semua dalam you punya analysis betul ke tidak ke apa masalah dia okay. apa masalahnya selalunya masalah dia very simple the, the theory is always very good the implementation is sometimes a problem ah itu je saya boleh bagi tahu dia yeah, dalam you punya analysis ah you kena cerita actually dia ni bagus tapi uh, dia buat dia dia mengukur tidak menggunakan um, uh, objektif very subjective ataupun perform uh, dia punya event apa tu assessment dia tu tidak tepat macam saya katakan uh, kita uh, dalam master ni assessment evaluation and synthesis assessment tu pengukur jadi kalau pengukur dia tak tepat mestilah evaluation dia tak tepat jadi kalau pengukur dia tu tidak mengikut uh, tidak menggunakan cara uh, cascading down of KPIs properly, memanglah dia akan menjadi masalah tu dari mana-mana dia datang benda ni. Uh, and actually, if you remember, I told you dari dulu, where, uh, dari uh, earlier classes, when I said to you, when we do a job description, kita ada kata kerja, right? Uh, yes. Apa tu kata kerja, mana ni director, manager, and executive and so on. So, director ni is oversee ataupun dia ambitioning dan sebagainya. Manager, managing. So, there must be a few managers. And then after a few managers, sebab manager ni dia manage satu-satu projek ke apa-apa lah. And then hmm. bawah dia mesti ada executive. So, kata kerja dia tu berbeza. But they are aligned to do one particular thing. Which is a particular KPI, for example. So, you you can see how this, uh, this KPI is being cascaded down all the way. Sampai ke bawah. Uh, hmm. okay. Jadi, Kalau dia tidak menggunakan um, assessment yang betul, ini kayu pengukur yang betul, that means you're not measuring the right thing, definitely it will create a lot of KYS lah dalam your performance management. Eh? Okay. 
And then you can always talk about the performance management. Need. Apart from giving a reward, it can also um, uh, apa tu, um, apa ni lah, uh, can be also in the form of punishment. Huh? Sorry? Sorry? Is that okay? Uh, and then, and then. Oh, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, and then, and then, uh, once you do a performance management, then you will be able to see, um, performance management. If you do implement, and assuming that you are you have implemented it correctly, then what you will get is that at the end of the day, this is the expectation. This is the actual results. Based on the uh, expectation versus actual results, you you may get a variance. So once you get the variance, manenye is it a favorable variance or the non favorable variance lah? Manenye um, manenye katikan lah you kata buat puluh you malah empat. Ah manenye tak favorable. So you can add some justification. Ah uh, it doesn't mean buat lapan tu is not good. Maybe actually you can only do eight, you cannot do ten. Ah uh, so you can justify. Tetapi sekiranya expectation is ten. And you do it, and you know that actually you can do ten. That means you are underperform. So once you underperform, then another thing can kick start. Yep. Just to your training. So we assume that organizations are run professionally. Yeah, that they don't just simply sack people when they don't meet the target. Then they they will see what are the corrective measurements. One of the corrective measurement is actually to kick off the new training new program. Okay, a uh, training program so that you can actually. Uh, apa ni lah um, uh, apa tu you can actually uh, complement back lah uh, dia punya variance negative variance tu kan uh, bagi training exposure ke whatever lah uh, supaya dia dapat ni lah selain daripada tu performance management once you give a reward katakan reward can be in the form of bonus kita sebagainya but it can also be in the form of uh, promotions so bila you bagi mm. promotions pula definitely you you also need to kick start another training program. That means, bila they promote, they are doing something different. So, we have to assume that dia ni kena train juga. Dia tak boleh kata dia assume dia, dia kena ubah kerja tu. Bukan dulu dia kata kerja dia doing. Sekarang dia managing. So, it's a different skill set. So, as a company, they need to send this person for a training. Ataupun mentorship dan sebagainya. Masa saya kerja dekat Petronas, they always do like that. So, that means, Daripada executive nak jadi manager, you kena pergi training. Uh, sebab it's a different skill set. Doesn't mean that this is a problem that many companies sometimes have. Even the companies that I used to work for. So somebody has been working uh, after some time and achieve a very level, uh, a high level of competency. And because of that, they get promotions. They jadi boss. I've been jadi manager ke, jadi apa ke. Tapi dia buat kerja yang sama. Jadi kata kerja dia tak tukar. Uh, imagine, eh? And then every year you reward the person because he's the best. Tapi dia sebenarnya, dia punya EQ tak ada. Dia punya, that means managing people dia tak ada. Sebab dia tak, dia, dia tak ada that skill sebenarnya. And then after some, some years, dia become directors. So at the end of the day, the whole department is actually doers. Okay, no, no thinkers, tak ada leaders, tak ada apa. Cuma yang jadi director tu is the person with the highest skill yang paling lama sekali duduk dalam. Nah, itu pun ada juga. Hmm. Uh, I've been in a situation where You know, we you have like 16 people dalam tu, uh, yang really executive, okay, minus yang supporting staff lah, supporting staff ni, second P ke, kan, club ke, apa tu. Actually, dia punya executive dua orang. Dia, I tengok pun gelap. Manager dia banyak, uh, dalam empat orang, lepas tu, assistant director, lepas tu, director. Say, Wah, ini organization, uh, apa tu, uh, uh, cendawan. <laughs> Besar kat atas, kecil ke bawah. <laughs> kan? Jadi, dia, yang, yang real, yang buat, But kerja ada dua orang eksekutif. But actually, when you look at the the, the way they do, everybody is actually ada work. Dia bukan dia director. Dia director dia bukan director, apa tu, does not have the uh, criteria as directors lah. So you got to be very careful. Huh? Now you talk about, you talk about um, variance in the uh, assessment and then you kick off, kick start the, the, the training. Then another thing is that you can also say that this performance management actually allows you to create your talent management program as well as a session. So, nampak tak? Banyak benda you boleh cerita dalam you punya analisis sebenarnya. And also recommendations. So, actually, there's a lot of things eh, that actually that, that, uh, uh, is centered around performance management. Okay? Yeah, Puritan, you want to ask a question? 
Thank you, Prof. Ya, yeah, boleh. Teruskan. Apa nak tanya? Uh, tak ada apa tadi, Prof. I boleh join je. Oh, okay, okay. I, I thought I nampak you, apa tu, on your, your mic. Okay. Alright, uh, Belly Benson, any question that you like to ask pertaining to the assignment? Ada, Prof. Cuma saya tengah buat juga. Uh, setakat ni tengah buat lagi lah. Uh, jangan lama-lama buat. Dia tiga, empat jam saja boleh settle lah semua dah. Uh, okay, Prof. I tanya, I tanya tadi bukan I nak ni, tapi bukan nak nak ni. Kalau tiga, saya... Tiga, jam tu, Prof tak boleh kot. Tanya memang masa nak siap depan tu pun namut. Actually ya, Kak Kamerul, kita tahu. Saya kalau exam, tiga jam saya boleh tulis 28 minggu surat. And then usually my students can write about 20 pages lah. But I, I know the typing ni mungkin dia akan ambil masa lama sikit lah. Depends lah. Eh. Itu pun very subjective. Because um, last uh, last year saya ambil exam dekat UM on international relations lah. So one lecturer, one particular lecturer ni dia nak pergi UK tak? So because dia nak pergi UK, UM ni dia ada and uh, some strict rules when uh, when when it is your paper when you, your paper you need to be there uh, you cannot supervise so dia ni dah book it will in advance dia nak pergi uh, dan, uh, so dia dia kata okay since dia nak pergi and then dia nak correct dia tukar assessment tu jadi um, kita kena datang tapi kita kena type sebab immediately we have to give to the ni university and university will email it to the So I challenge lah, I kata mana boleh. UM punya exam bukan 3 jam, 2 jam tu je. Hmm. Dia kata mana boleh. Hey, you ask me to type. I can type about 700 words uh, per hour. So 2 uh, hours is only 1,400. And then your rule is that before 2 hours, I have to sub finish and also submit. That means I hilang lagi 5 markah, uh, 5 minit pula lagi. When actually, when you give me 2 hours, I can write around... Um, 16 to 20 pages, saya kata. So it's not the same level. But then dia kata, well, unfortunately, you have to stick with that lah, dia kata. Because uh, satu, kalau tulis, nanti apa tu, you nak scan lah, apa lah, dia tak boleh baca lah, itu lah, ini lah, ini kan. Everybody had to comply lah. Uh, satu lagi lecturer saya, okay, everybody can write, but everybody has to write in big capital letters. Every sentence, dia kata, this is just to avoid me from not understanding what you have written. Ah, you would masalah juga. And ah, uh, but anyway, try not to spend too much time on 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 this lah. Eh? Because I think you guys also have so many other exams and so on. It should be something that you enjoy doing lah. Eh? You not should should not be something burden sampai terpaksa dah ambil cuti lah, apa lah, ponting kerja MC ke apa eh? No need lah. <laughs> I don't think it's worth it lah. I think um, with all the discussions that we have, I think you should be able to answer not only the assignment but also the final exam questions. Eh? For final exam question, you will be given a few days, kan? Betul lah, no? Ah, ni, Karun. Kamarun. Eh, final exam bukan the day satu hari je? Oh, satu hari? Eh? I tak tahu. Is it one day? Oh, one, um, the way that I understood the, all the classes that I joined in tu, the final exam will be one day using the the the, resp the respondent tu. Okay, okay. Uh, and then we have to answer within the hour set by the the lecturers and the professor, which is uh, two oh. or three hours. Uh. Uh. Oh, really? Yeah? Oh, uh, I... Tapi, sir, tapi kalau final assessment, dia akan bagi duration dia lah. Which... Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's duration dia hmm. bila final exam. Dia ada duration lah, betul lah macam si Jai. Ah, 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 macam ah, a week, we can do it any day. Final... Yes, yes, yes. Because I, I, I got an instruction, dia kata dah tak ada final exam dah. Sekarang semua final ah, assessment. Ah. Ah. Ah, betul lah, final assessment tu. Cuma we can take any times of the week tu but the, there's a cut off day lah. Ah, yes, correct. correct. Even that one also, I don't, I I hope you guys don't spend so much time lah, ya. Yeah? Uh, dia sama je because I rasa kalau spend so much time, dia tak berbaloi lah. Because when I set the questions, ah, yes, I, true, true. I set the question untuk boleh dibuat lah. Kan kata you kena pergi National Library lah, apa lah itu lah dia buat research yang mendalam lah it's not supposed to be like that lah it's supposed to it's supposed to test you on your the maturity in your answer lah sebenarnya eh? more of that rather than 
Feather dan apa ni um, um, uh, Strict punya details lah Dia bukan macam tu Tak kalau you google-google pun Mungkin you dapat banyak jawapan That's not what I want eh. You you can stick to only a few apa answers But then you need to elaborate on the answers And then you can always talk from two sides of the coin So should we do this This is the the plus factors blah 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 the benefits of it dan sebagainya however there are some challenges you jangan cakap the drawbacks lah eh, drawbacks jangan cakap because usually when they intend to do something uh, dalam teori semua tu it should be good eh, because teori ni is uh, kalau kita belajar statistics dan sebagainya they like to play at the 97% so 90 apa tu 97% ataupun 95% sorry 95% Maknanya bila when you say a theory, it is 95% correct. Maknanya daripada out out of 100 times, you test this, 95% of it, you will get the same answer. If 5%, you get the outline. So once you achieve something like that, it becomes a theory. It's supposed to be good. Eh? Maknanya it's supposed to be good. So you don't say the drawbacks. You say the challenges in implementing this as sebagainya. Ah, jadi, uh, jadi senang lah. Uh, One point good or a few point good. However, in order to implement this, these are the uh, these are some of the challenges. And very often, these challenges are, are very very difficult to apa tu lah mitigate ke whatever ke lah. This uh, because of apa tu costing factors ke because of competency ke because of um apa tu office politics ke or anything lah. Jadi jadi ban jadi a few points. But you can discuss and elaborate uh, in lengthy. Uh, itu senang. Eh, kita bukan nak tengok kata you Google ada 20 point, you masukkan 20 point dalam tu and then everything very very apa tu shallow saja kan on the surface saja. Eh? Uh, that is the so lah untuk final exam as well as for this one lah. Eh? Sama saja sebenarnya. Punya format pun sama, dia punya expectation pun sama, different questions. Uh, itu saja. Pasti pun you all dah tahu dah kan? Aries pun dah tahu dah kan? Aries right. dah tahu, question tak tahu. Ah, yelah, Aries lah. Ah, Aries tu dah tahu dah cukup dah sebenarnya. Dah sufficient enough already lah. Eh? In fact, if you read the case study, in fact, if you don't want to read the case study pun, tak boleh, tak ada masalah. Pada question tu sebenarnya, you boleh nak menjawab menggunakan case study tu ataupun any industry that you like. So basically, tak payah baca pun case study pun tak apa. Eh? Uh, but for some people, they dia mungkin uh, tak confident ke kan dengan uh, apa tu dia nak tengok juga case tadi pun tak ada masalah uh, it's supposed to help you lah not to make your life difficult Okay Munira any question Munira okay okay okay, okay no question for dekat now dekat pavilion ke eh tak oh, tak 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 dekat pavilion eh. dia pergi shopping ke uh, dia memang kaki shopping eh ya yeah, ya yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dekat pavilion tu, uh, uh, my experience is that it, it's always a big, uh, apa tu, traffic kan? Heavy traffic lah. Even my minister was there, I think, two weeks ago and she had to spend about one hour daripada situ bawah tu nak sampai atas kat pavilion. Dia actually, dia lalu situ nak tengok traffic je. So, sebelah kanan tu, uh, kebanyakannya grab, taxi dan so on kan? Uh, dan my experience bila I tanya grab tu nak suruh hantar balik, memang tak ada siapa nak ambil. Sebab dia dah book untuk foreigners kan? Ha, sebab dia tahu local ni tak boleh buat duit lah kan? So I think... Ya, ya, ya. Sorry, uh, sorry I, just, I just want to ask yeah. sebab hari kelas Jumat tu ada yang termis kelas kan? Sebab ada yang tengah kerja. Yeah, so yeah. is it okay uh, Prof if you uh, willing to repeat about the areas? Sama saja. Sama saja. Uh, okay, oh you... you okay. The, um, the, the question is it? Okay, question dia... Sekejap eh, let me draw the question back eh. Um, uh, okay, okay. So, you will be given a case study. Yeah? Tapi case study ni sub to you lah kalau you nak baca ke apa ke. Sub to you and if you want to use example from that one, it's okay. Tak ada masalah. Tapi, I rasa because case study ni dia bagi gambaran saja. Eh? Gambaran dia bukannya the whole answer is there. But basically, Um, you are going to be asked to talk uh, something in relation of specialists versus uh, generalists. Okay, kalau kalau you datang the class before that, kita ada discuss about generalists dengan specialists. 
Uh, so that, that is the area that you need to um, focus lah. Yeah, uh, so, so, so you can choose whatever industry you like. In fact, you can even use your own company kalau you nak. Cuma, macam saya kata, you kena buat dalam six different headers. Uh, okay? And it's about 2,500, 3,000 words. Jadi, saya rasa sekejap aja you boleh siap. Macam saya kata, dia points ni dalam 3, 4 point. Lepas tu, you elaborate, elaborate, elaborate. Kenapa tu, kenapa ni yet again uh, on the other on the other hand, on the other side of the coin. You know, I think dalam 4 point macam tu dah cukup. Dah cukup dapat 2,000. Alright, thank you Prof. Okay. Uh, remember, eh, bila you buat findings, based on the findings, you can have your analysis. That's why you do the findings. Yeah. Kalau you tak buat findings tu, you tak boleh buat analysis. Analysis ni is based on the findings. Uh, so, jangan pula buat findings sampai sampai beratus-ratus, apa tu, beratus-ratus point dan sebagainya. Lepas tu buat analysis sikit je. Ha, tak boleh lah. Jadi, you kena sekatakan. Jadi, you pick the points in your findings tu yang untuk you analyze. And then after you have analyzed, then only you can give a recommendation. Recommendation tu pun based on the things you have analyzed. Not something that you pluck from the sky. So if you can focus on four points saja, eh, four points saja dalam findings tu, uh, you, 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 you claim lah. Uh, these are the most important or critical findings based on apa benda. And between Prof. now and your final example, you boleh discuss dengan kawan-kawan you. -kawan. Prof, for example, when uh, kita dapat a finding, we yeah. need uh, support from the academic writer or what? Oh, just... Okay, oh, okay. The, 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 this is the tricky part lah, ya, sebenarnya. This is the tricky part. You got to be very honest with you. Masuk final exam, kalau sit in exam, kalau you ambil duduk yang duduk atas meja, duduk yang tulis atas meja tu, memang biasanya kita tidak memerlukan uh, apa tu, uh, citation. Memang tak. Tetapi bila dia take home, ah, ini yang punya tricky part dia. Echo, Simon, ah, yang ini dia memang memerlukan. Sebab dia technically uh, you are given more time uh, to buat reference. Yeah? Uh, itu saja. Seperti saya kata, jangan banyak sangat dia punya reference ni. Nantikan you jadi haywire. Pick the easy points that you can elaborate untuk you punya analysis and recommend. Kalau I jadi you, I work backwards. What are the things that I want to recommend? And then, I work. Okay, Adip. Play. Alright, all right. thank you, Prof. Okay, clear. Okay, Munira tak ada apa. Masri. Mas, I sampai habis kelas salah nama. Tak apa, Prof. It's okay. Boleh, boleh. Um, Afif, boleh lah, Prof. Ha, okay, semua boleh. Ada apa-apa nak tanya tak? Boleh, Prof. Boleh. Tak ada soalan lagi. Oh, ni mudir dah jawab. Saya tanya orang lain. Saya jawab. <laughs> okay. Yang ini. Uh, Muhammad Ali Iqbal. Ada? Ada soalan? Hi, Prof. Uh, so far okay. Uh, dapat guidance pada kawan-kawan hari tu yang datang kelas. Ah, Dek, hari ni you kat mana ni? Uh, dekat New York. Oh, New York. Okay. Sekarang pukul berapa? Sekarang pukul 4.30 pagi. Oh, 4.30 pagi kan? Eh? 4.30 pagi, ya. Yeah. Baru sampai ke apa? <laughs> Uh, baru okay. sampai malam tadi, maghrib. Maghrib malam tadi sampai New York. Oh, Tapi maghrib sampai, sampai saya dah flat lah tidur. Ni baru bangun actually. Oh, ya yeah, apa ni? Uh, maghrib kat sana pukul berapa? Maghrib actually uh, 6 setengah sahaja kot. Saya pun oh, tengok. 6 setengah. 6 setengah petang lah. Okay lah. Nearly, nearly 10 hours already lah. ya. Yeah. Okay lah. Hmm. So make sure lah. Yeah. Again, eh, the whole thing is not to, to make uh, some people miserable and having it. Eh. Macam saya kata, you can do it just in one shot sajalah. Eh? Because boleh lah. You, you, you google 3, 4 points, you ambil lah reference tu dah habis. Lepas tu, you goreng. Yang lain tu, you boleh goreng lah. Kan? So, it, it's not supposed to be disadvantage to you, eh, Muhammad Ali uh, Iqbal. Ya? Yeah? Ya, yeah, okay. Eh, it, it, it bukan kata, ah, oh, this will be favoring certain student and then this will be disadvantage to certain student. No, eh? When I set the question, it's supposed to be doable for everybody. <laughs> ha. 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 Sama juga dengan assignment Dia bukan kata ha, Ini untuk orang yang geng-geng rajin aja Yang boleh, boleh sekolah Orang yang ha. ada banyak kerja Tak boleh sekolah ha. Ha. Saya pun pernah pergi hidup Saya dulu sebagai student I've learned so many things I don't want that happen to you guys lah Macam saya hmm. masuk kelas part time Tapi dia buat macam full time <laughs> ha. Lepas tu Exam dia 
dia punya dia punya quiz ada empat quiz kerja nak empat quiz lepas tu mid term dia ada dua lepas tu assignment dia ada dua untuk satu subjek matilah kan kalau kalau kita yang buat part time ni memang matilah parahlah kan ha, sebab apa dia buat macam ni dia buat uh, first half check gulai second half check gulai ha, dia buat macam tu ko 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 teaching jadi macam ni tiga yang pertama satu cikgu, tiga yang kelas kedua, satu lagi cikgu. Ha, jadi beratlah. Ha? 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 The whole idea is to be convenient because you pay for the classes, you want to learn and then, uh, and I think as a as a lecturer, eh, teacher, you want your students to learn lah. <laughs> you tak nak discourage dia orang kan? <laughs> Kalau tak nanti, uh, Muhammad Ali kembali dia so, ah. Kami kan, I got to travel around the world lagi like bila masuk pula saya nak belajar kan. Okay, right? Ya, yeah, betul. Uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, what about uh, Anissa? Nur Anissa? Okay, guys. Yes, yes, Prof. Okay, yeah, I, I dah baca question tu. Cuma yeah. nanti kena, uh, kita boleh choose uh, company mana-mana? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. You boleh pilih mana-mana right. company boleh. Ada masalah. Uh, okay, okay. So, um, by today lah, I try. I try buat. Ah, itu, itu itu final exam. Oh, yeah, final okay. exam. Ha, yang ya performance pun boleh juga you letak di nama kami as as apa. Boleh tak ada masalah. Ah, oh, okey okey. Okay. Final exam bila tu, sir? Uh, doktor. I tak pasti. Ya yeah, uh, final exam ni um, uh, dah, dah, dah keluar ke dia punya tadi buat? Tak, tak tak keluar lagi. Uh, belum lagi. I check SIS. Okay. Yang mm -hmm. I di, yang I faham Uh, from my other class, I tak tahulah whether sama ke tidak, dia kata uh, oh, it should all be in by 18. 18 hari bulan. Itu yang saya dipahamkan lah, saya tak pasti. Uh, tapi dulu-dulu student saya saya ingat dia dapat exam tu dalam 4 hari, 5 hari je kan, something like that. Betul tak? Is it? Usually you get the question how long? Anybody has any idea? Kalau a week lah. Kalau dapat a week. A week eh. Mungkin lah. Mungkin lah. Mungkin dia dapat besok ke. Tak pastilah. Tapi don't worry lah. You don't need that much time lah. Ha? Jangan pula kalau komplain tak cukup time lah eh. <laughs> okay Prof. 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 Today is last class yang Prof. Yeah today is last class. Yeah last class. Ha -ha. Apa Adik ada nak tanya apa-apa ke Adik? Uh, nothing. Nothing Prof. Ha, okay. Jadi, today pun I don't intend to spend so much time. Because okay. I think I've already given you uh, all you need lah untuk you, you nak jawab you punya assignment dan final exam. Cumanya I just nak spend this time untuk satu, fill up the, 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 the quota of the class. And secondly is to give time for you to actually ask any questions lah. Uh, in fact, kalau you kata, okay, I've allocated three hours for this class and then the class finish ini, maybe you can use the extra time tu untuk you buat your assignments ke apa pun kan. So, so this is also a very good excuse for you to focus lah. Kan? Uh, maknanya, okay. Then I can use this time for the same. Get it out of the way lah. Uh, Kamarul, ada apa-apa nak tanya Kamarul? Untuk final? Tak ada, tak ada. Tak ada, eh? Don't worry lah. I mean, I, I'm usually uh, I'm usually uh, a very lenient punya maka lah. Uh, provided that you do your work. Kalau you tak buat, uh, itu problem lah. Saya nak bagi makan macam mana kan? Kalau you tak submit, itu, itu masalah lah nanti. And then, uh, Tavindran? Tavindran? Any question Tavindran? Ada apa-apa nak tanya tak Tavindran? No problem, I'm good. You're good, Thank okay. You. Good, good. Okay, Adib nak tanya kan? Uh, Punitan? Punitan tadi masuk lewat sikit. Ada apa-apa nak tanya? Not sure ke uh, apa ke? Bro. Okay. Uh, nothing from you, bro. Eh, final pun okey, ini pun okey eh. Right. Uh, Fazilawati, ada apa pun nak tanya? Assignment yeah. tu uh, dia Ya. Ah, mention ke buat uh, kalau macam KPI apa semua tu dalam macam yang dengan Ya, boleh, boleh. Boleh, boleh. Ah, you can relate, you can relate kan. You can relate kan dengan KPI semula sebab dia soalan performance management. Ah, uh, You boleh cerita lah macam mana nak buat KPI 
what is the expectation of KPI, it is outcome, uh, dia mesti macam mana, uh, itu semua you boleh tulis lah. Yeah? Okay, Fazilawati, alright, play. Uh, you can also discuss with your friends. Eh? Discussion is okay, no problem. Tidak ada masalah langsung, you can discuss. Even your points can be the same, but please write your your own sentence. Eh? Because, you know, I will not be catching you and uh, tangkap you because you know, mesti tak tangkap you lah. In the sense of, eh, kenapa point you sama? No, eh. The points can be similar, but then of course you have to write in your own ways lah. Ha, itu jangan pula you kena tangkap eh. Jangan pula ada cover copy pula kan. Ha, satu orang tulis, empat orang lagi cover copy kan. Ha, tapi dalam macam tu kan. Okay. Iza, ada apa-apa soalan Iza? Uh, saya ada question sir, but yes, it please. relates to tenant management. Okay, boleh. Uh, Go ahead. Macam ni, let's yeah. say lah ya, uh, I nak tahu from the point of view of a hirer. Uh, okay. uh, let's say a person has yeah. uh, more or less 22 years of uh, experience in industry okay. and trying to move to be in uh, education sector as a lecturer. Okay. So, <laughs> how, 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 what, what is actually the expectation of the hire? Because um, from what we can see, then most of the uh, uh, job requirement nowadays are they want people to have at least experience now. So, yeah, it's yeah. quite unfair for, for people that are uh, in an entry level like that, then moving to another industry. Okay. Oh, how, how okay. 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 Similar to that. Like that. Like Now, now, um, if I were to use a different example and say that you used to play basketball and then suddenly you want to play football, ah, uh, come to. Okay. Then, then it will be easier for you to see the differences. Okay. Mungkin kalau kita kata if you are working and then you um you are working in the industry and then you want to work in the university. Uh, mungkin tak berapa nampak sebab you rasa ini bukan perlu skill. Actually, it requires a lot of skills. Yeah? Now, I can say, um, I tak tahu, I mean, I just say lah, I mean, education, I boleh faham. Um, and uh, people take me in usually to teach at university because I can give you my example because I used to be from the industry. And then I, um, and um, you, my first, apa ni, uh, biasanya kalau orang daripada industri ni, kebanyakannya, Um, kalau dia ada PhD and so on, dia akan dipanggil untuk mengajar MBA lah selalunya. Because MBA ni sebenarnya, um, it's usually good to have people from industry to teach. Provided that they also have uh, the right academic backgrounds lah. Maknanya dia boleh blend kan teori and also dia boleh um, apply dia punya knowledge. And good university tends to have something like that sebenarnya. Uh, cuma dekat Malaysia ni, when you try to do something like that, uh, the cost can be very high because they already have uh, their internal lecturers. Jadi, bila ada internal lecturer, dia nak panggil kat luar, dia kaya terpaksa ambil kos yang yeah, dia kena ingka higher kos. Eh? Okay, now, dalam teaching ni sebenarnya, kalau you want to switch into the university dan sebagainya, it's not as simple as nak mengajar budak degree, budak master, kalau master dengan PhD tu, saya rasa you can group them together. But degree and undergraduate and postgraduate is different all. Memang lain. Kalau you teach undergraduate, you go you most likely you will most of the time you don't get students to participate because classes dia is knowledge punya class. So usually dia tak tahu apa-apa. Jadi kita baru nak mengajar dia. Dia punya classes bukan macam ni. What do you think? What do you think? Tak ada. Ada uh, kata, okay students, uh, open up this, okay, this salah satu, satu, dia, dia belajar basic. Sebab dia knowledge. So, sama juga dengan cikgu sekolah menengah, dengan sekolah rendah, there are two different skill sets. Doesn't mean that if you're a good lecturer, you can also teach at the university, at the, at the secondary school atau primary school. No, it's totally different. Uh, one of the my qualification is in early childhood. That's why you have early childhood. Early childhood tak sama dengan uh, uh, apa tu. Dengan, 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 dengan apa ni, uh, sekolah rendah. Tak sama. Different. Uh, so, I can understand uh, why they say that you, they need you to have some experience. Then, secondly, uh, in the university, selalunya kalau you nak mengajar, kalau macam college tu, mungkin tak apa, you ada master, you boleh mengajar yang lain. Tapi kalau you nak masuk universiti awam dan sebagainya, 
usually they need you to have a PhD because they don't want to sponsor you anymore lah. Nah, maknanya masuk-masuk dah ada PhD. Nah, dulu-dulu, 20 tahun dulu, 15 tahun dulu, dia sponsor you buat PhD. Sekarang dia tak nak. So, uh, there are different skill sets that is required. So, sometimes they are not willing to train ataupun invest on someone and then um, sponsor them for training. Sebab kebanyakannya kerja-kerja dekat, dekat universiti ni, dia masuk je, dia teruh kena buat kerja lah. Mana plug and play. Jadi dia kadang-kadang dia takut nak ambil you because masuk-masuk je you dah terus dapat tiga atau empat subjek you nak mengajar then uh, you have to run. Selain daripada tu mengajar kena pula buat dia punya uh, paperwork dan sebagainya itu ni. Jadi dia yeah, it takes certain uh, ni lah expertise lah to do that lah. Bukan kata macam mengajar saja begitu eh. Okay Iza, does it make sense to you? Uh, yes, but what 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 is your, I mean, okay lah, I need your advice lah, sir. Uh, I'm moving into another industry, which is from telco to uh, education. But education ni, you, the, you, you, education ni, you nak masuk, you nak mengajar ke apa? Ah, uh, saya nak mengajar. Uh, saya nak uh, mengajar. Ah, uh, And actually, I've already enrolled for PhD. So, okay. susah sikit lah saya nak, nak, nak go through the, apa? The, uh, yeah, yeah, satu lagi kan. dia, satu lagi kalau you mengajar ni kat private university, you can have a teaching permit. Uh, the, all the private universities, colleges requires you to have a teaching permit. Harga teaching permit ni ialah RM200. So somebody has to pay for that lah. Sama ada you bayar ataupun university akan bayarkan untuk you. Then uh, macam saya dulu dibayar oleh Sanwa University. They want me to teach there. So they sponsored me lah. Ada uh, ada two thousand eh two hundred ringgit itu, apa tu? Dia panggil teaching permit. With that teaching permit, you can use it to teach anywhere lah dalam Malaysia. Ah, uh, then the teaching permit will details up what subject you can teach. Ah, uh, area area more of the area lah, bukan actual subject areas that you can teach. Ah, uh, tapi yang mesti seperti yang saya bagi tahu lah, ye yeah, kalau setan ini mesti macam Certain universities, dia kadang-kadang dia bagi you co-teach. Dia nak tengok you boleh mengajar ke tidak ke, dia co-teach dulu. Then only they give you. Uh, so I think um, it does benda-benda macam tu lah. Sometimes when it is a technical subject macam accounting, uh, mungkin engineering ke, uh, I think it's slightly easier for people from the industry. That lah. Dia kadang-kadang dia kekurangan orang-orang macam ni. So, they tend to be more flexible in bringing in people. Tapi kalau you kata you nak mengajar HR ke, nak mengajar uh, business ke apa-apa, kebanyakannya ramai dah lecturer-lecturer yang, you know, being trained into this, they are not from the industry. They can also speak, but they understand the theory. But not necessarily that they have the actual experience to do things. Many lecturers katakan, they can teach marketing, blah, 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 but they have not done marketing before. Or they can teach business law, but they have not draft any contract before. Ah, uh, memang itu perkara biasa. Ataupun itulah biasanya business school lah yang 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 selalu ada lecturer lecturer. They know the theories, but they don't. Um, they have never done the practice. Itu ini lah. It's practical lah. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you so much for the advice. Okay. Ah, uh, so I've gone around. Uh, ada lah siapa-siapa nak tanya apa-apa soalan lagi? Uh, you, 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 I mean, apart from the performance management for your assignments and also your final exam, especially as a journalist, or you, if you don't have any question on that, maybe you have other questions relating to what we have covered in the last, for the last six classes sampai hari ni. Yang you tak sure ke, you know, I like to think that you attend the class not because you want to do the assignment and find an exam but more of the knowledge lah. So, so, so if you have any other question also, you can ask today. Cuma, I think I joined this this uh, Master in Management is because of I just want to transition myself from a technical base of employee to yeah. more generalist type of employee you know? yeah, yeah 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 so to to that's good that's good because at the end of the day i've seen um last time when i joined my organization i don't see yeah. hr 
as a very, uh, I would say, I know HR is there, but it's like a, another mm. department that manage manpower. Uh, but this time around, when the 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 influx of digitalizations and all mm. this is coming in, then I can see how HR is the one that uh, would be the main player in terms of performing, optimizing the manpower yeah. in, in, in most of the organization. So Correct. I would love to just direct myself in that area. So that's why I try to understand how all yes. this... Yes, so, Bagus, Kamarun. Me, me, memang, kalau, uh, uh, if I were to give you a different question, um, you know, the next question, if I if if that gender performance is not... Really, because performance, so I think it's... it's uh, uh, a topic that everybody can write lah. Um, I can. I was thinking also giving you another uh, apa tu, a different question. Sebenarnya, it's about the wrong perceptions of uh, HR, for example. Because memang kalau dulu dulu HR ni tempat orang letak uh, apa ni, for storage and so on. Actually no. Actually many of the technical subject, if um, you give it a few more years, I think AI can take over already. A lot of these technical subject ni boleh. Tapi dia tak ada EQ. Uh, this is where HR plays a very big role dalam EQ dia. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, ke- kalau you tengok um, how uh, Adidas, for example, yeah, the intention is actually to close all their punya plants dekat uh, outside of Germany, eh Germany, outside of Germany. I want ke apa tu dia nak tutup, and they want to bring back everything in Germany. So the first question that people ask, wouldn't it be expensive to hire Germans to the labor punya ni buat kasut dan sebagainya. They said, no, 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 I'm not going to use the labels. I'm going to use the machines to do Adidas shoes. Nah, sekarang ni pun kalau kita tengok Adidas shoes boleh sampai beribu. Kalau dulu 200-300 ringgit tu dah mahal lah. Sekarang ni dah jadi perkara biasa kan. 800-900, 900-1000. Because now, it's easy. The moment they chop the Germany je, harga dia sudah lain lah. So now, they can even have all the shoes made in Germany. Kan? Tapi, and then more standardized because they are done by intelligence. Uh, mm, so. uh, a lot of it, data pun boleh, uh, semua pakai machines dan sebagainya. So technically, human intervention tu boleh dikurangkan. In fact, one of the things dalam agenda apa tu negara-negara maju ataupun uh, ini, um, you want to transform from labor intensive to capital intensive. In fact, certain countries, termasuk Malaysia, we also give at one time incentive for companies to migrate from labor intensive to capital intensive. Meaning is uh, that we encourage them to buy machines. So over a period of times, uh, bila you buy machines and so on, you punya capital naik. So bila capital you naik, you punya apa tu, uh, capital per income pun naik. This is the expectations. Hmm. Uh, so this is boleh menjadikan negara tu negara maju. More labor intensive it is then susah you nak jadi negara maju. And we also understand a lot of these labor intensive industries are actually carried are done not by Malaysian anyway, they are done by foreigners. Ah uh, kan? Jadi jadi kita rasa oh tak apalah, baik lah kita jadi capital intensive dan labor intensive. Then our money will not be apa tu? Uh, keluar. Uh, ada apa dia panggil leakages in the economy. Hmm. Jadi mata wang kita boleh jaga dan dia punya perak uh, apa tu uh, capital paying uh, uh, proposal ni akan naik. Dari situ lah you akan jadi high income nation. So. Okay. Alright, any other thing? I don't intend to keep you uh, for a long time. Yeah. Uh, the, I pun estimate dalam sejam macam tu lah the, something like that that's all I wanted to say lah unless you have something else to cover so I say rasa yang for the assignments and to, I, I made it very clear already lah expectation do not do anything different do not do uh, ni lah markah tu okay semua orang should be okay lah you do, don't have to worry so much lah yang tak okay lah kalau you tak submit tak buat exam I do you yang tak okey, saya tak boleh nak tenggerang lah. Macam mana saya nak masukkan makar kan. Nanti kan dia macam tu, eh, ni tak ada submission. Mana ada makar pula ni kan. Okay, anything else? Tak ada, Prof. Tak ada, saya okey. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we go one more round lah ya. Rosita, anything Rosita? Uh, so far tak ada. 
Tapi but but doktor, I don't use my answer for assessment. No, I don't put KPI. It put ada 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 answers. Tak apa tak apa, it's okay. Kadang kadang saya cakap lima empat empat lima benda yang lain kan, it's okay, not problem. Okay okay. Ah tak ada masalah. Okay, Fatihah, ada tak apa apa? Uh, setakat ni clear prof. Uh, final dengan assignment okey lagi. Ya. Yeah. Camilia ada apa-apa lagi nak tanya? Ah uh, so far so good professor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Belly Benson ada apa-apa? Belly Benson di uh, yeah. Tak ada prof. Setakat ni okey lagi. Okey. Ah, Kira yeah. Saya ke tu? Ya yeah, ya yeah, Munira. Uh, okay, so okay. I just uh, have a quick question because I am looking for a job juga. Oh. Just asking for a professional opinion from you lah kan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's say if I want to jump industry and I have no experience in that industry. For example, I am from consulting which is I do compliance and then I would, I'm looking for a job in maybe finance or maybe AML and money laundering. So you as a hirer Let's say, uh, if you were a hirer, hire, what would you look for? I mean, in macam I tak ada experience, you akan tengok based on what uh, component okay. untuk you considered yeah. me to be part of the uh, team or company. Okay. Yeah, first of all, dia tengok juga you, umur you berapa tahun? Mm -hmm. And how long have you graduated, for example? Say if you are one or two years uh, baru habis graduate, it doesn't make so much difference as long as apa you belajar dulu tu ke dan sebagainya um, apa tu ada sikit-sikit kena boleh saja tapi katakanlah you dah 5 tahun buat benda lain you already graduated 5 uh, years ago then you pun buat benda lain then obviously your salary dah naik then uh, bila you nak jump into another industry then uh, you would expect to you 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 yourself wants to have at least similar salary dengan apa you ada sekarang. Ah uh, itu yang akan menjadi susah when company will feel that yeah, actually this person does not have any experience especially in finance. Finance ni I tak tahu maksud you finance yang macam mana because uh, finance ni ada macam-macam finance. Kalau you pergi bank buat financing benda lain. Itu more or less salesman punya financing. Uh, tapi kalau you uh, duduk dekat corporate finance tu then you need to know the technical skill dan sebagainya itu lain pula. Uh, jadi you got that uh, then tengok uh, finance yang macam mana kita cerita ni lah. Uh, that one require certain skill, skill set. Itu yang ada orang buat CFA dan sebagainya. Okay. Uh, so I think uh, it depends on a few things lah. Uh, bila you ambil gaji yang rendah, then they look at other things. They look at you know, uh, boleh tak kita dengan dia ni, boleh tak dan sebagainya. Banyak benda lah. Dia, 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 dia nak bagi leeway tu agak senang sikit. Tapi bila you nak naik gaji yang tinggi atas certain position then it's a little bit tricky where because you are going to be managing uh, a group of other people yang looking at you and supposedly you have the technical skill. Ha, itu dia menjadi beza lah. Unless uh, you you have a different cable ke dan sebagainya itu cerita lain lah. Ha. Tapi um, just to add on, eh, uh, yeah. if I were hiring person, kan, macam mm -hmm. I, I am part of some, uh, what we say, hiring team in terms of uh, any of the employee to join our organizations too. But basically what we try to... Okay, so uh, saya nak plug in saja. Cakap, cakap. Look, Ron, I can hear you. Eh, hey, Karen, Karen. Uh, yeah. Come on, cakap. Uh, the, way that we, uh, the way that we look for a candidate, basically... First and foremost, you have to be resourceful, not just in your area, but other things in terms of uh, how you carry yourself uh, on the, I would say, the management side of it. So basically, for example, when we talk about giving an input, so you'll be able to answer and give feedbacks, uh, constructive feedbacks, which can be used or utilized by all the team members. Uh. So when we ask questions during interviews, basically, we want to see first how do you react in terms of providing those information? So, uh, there are things that, like for example, junior executive, they will say something that they understood certain level of these uh, issues. So most probably they will try to get uh, more inputs and uh, give all the necessary feedbacks you know, uh, in, in, in their own ways. So 
that's how we see uh, the 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 responsible of the candidates to answer back and mm -hmm. give comments. Mm -hmm. So I think the the, the the there's a there's a skill of what could it, the the the, the leadership management, you know, there, there are things that you need to be accountable, responsible, and uh, giving more inputs uh, during the interviews. Huh? So basically, interviews is part of like understanding your nature, your soft skill, rather than your, I would say, knowledge skill set. Because at the end of the day, the, when you talk about joining a certain company, so they will give you certain training. So they provide you certain qualification. For example, yeah. like when you join finance, there are a lot of, I would say, a professional courses to back up your information that you learn in, in degrees or in master because that is more like a theoretical part. Yeah. But talk about professional course is more on the hands-on activities that you understand. Yeah. So you will combine these two domains to have more... I would say you to become to make you more reliable in giving the outputs to any of those parties. Now. So uh if let's say during interview it's not that we choose junior or senior, but basically how you carry your soft skill in that session. Uh, that that's my view. Now. Okay, thank you, Kamaru. Thank you, Doctor. Okay, good luck. Thank so, you. Okay. Marasri, ada tak soalan nak tanya? So far, okay, doctor. Thank you so much, and I and appreciate uh for whatever knowledge you shared with us. Really appreciate, okay. doctor. Good, good. Okay, all the best. Ali Gaddafi, uh, uh, any Muhammad Ali Iqbal. Uh, so far, okay. Uh, first assignment tu dah siap lah, bon. And second oh, assignment sure. tu about about generalist and specialist too, prof. Itu itu final, itu final exam. Ah, uh, itu final exam. Okay. It uh, so uh they, they follow the same format eh. Yeah, all yeah. The... Follow, follow the same format the same format okay cuma okay. one thing about being a generalist kan yeah um ada tak jenis phd yang generalist because usually phd ni we can say that they are experts in their field lah kan experts yeah. in their field generally yeah. being a specialist lah ada tak phd yeah. yang ada, ada because bila kita buat phd ni kita ada pengkhususan yang terperinci ni orang salah faham Ya sebenarnya PhD ni dia kena tengok satu sudut yang kecil bukan satu sudut yang besar. Okay, so you are not uh, trying to reinvent the, the world as well. You tengok satu benda aja. Uh, then you have to be very specific about that thing, and then you need to know a lot of things surrounding those things. I do PhD lah by definition. Kalau you nak a little bit more generalist, then you take the DBA. Uh, so DBA ni macam MBA tapi dia lagi tinggi lah. Uh, so you have to cover the classes and so on and then you have to do a uh, a mini thesis lah. Uh, okay, yang itu saya rasa dia banyak generalist lah tapi tapi tak boleh juga cakap itu sebab bila you buat you punya mini thesis tu dia dah menjurus kepada specific issue. Itu eh, tak ada lah kot. Saya rasa to be safe tak ada. Ya, yeah, saya pun rasa macam tak ada lah kot kan by definition. Uh, tapi depends lah. Dia sebenarnya PhD ni Dia sebetulnya dia tidak dia, menjadi, dia bukan satu benda yang fashionable. Sebenarnya PhD ni is more on somebody yang yang mungkin dia nak fokus on certain aspect lah. Itu saja sebenarnya. Tapi lah, uh, that is why people do PhD ni. Okay? Uh, kalau tidak, kalau you nak jadi generally saja, MBA is a very good subject. Come to generally. Sebenarnya subject-subject lain bukan generally. <laughs> IR ke apa ke dia bukan And Itu pun ada orang buat uh, MBA specialization Maknanya dia ambil dalam part subject yang begitu Yang specialize in finance ke HR ke apa Ataupun economics ke benda-benda lain-lain lah Itu itu ada sedikit lah Tapi yang yang sebenarnya yang saya tengok yang macam value dia tinggi It's actually the general MBA but then you belajar semua and that is actually why people take MBA in the first place. Kalau yeah, you nak specialize in finance, yeah. lebih baik you ambil master in finance. Daripada mula sampai habis, you, you buat finance. <laughs> betul, betul. Okay. Uh. Yalah, Prof. Other than that, I don't see any other questions lah. Semua so, quite. Okay. Understand. Okay. All the best. Banyak, okay. Prof. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Adip, ada apa-apa, Adip? I think, bro, everything clear. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, good. Okay, all the best. Put it in. Uh, okay, Prof. Uh, since I already missed the last previous class. Yes. So, kita dapat 
Final exam tu kita dapat cash format kan? Ya yeah, sama sama sama. Sama saja. So so to be clear, so okay, to be clear, yang ni kita ada one assignment dengan one final exam. Tak ada midterm kan? Ah uh, dia assignment tu kira midterm lah. Okay okay so okay. Alright. Okay, thank you. Okay, Fizalawati. Ada? Ada sebab tahu tapi saya dengan kawan sudah get ready untuk kerja. Okay. Alright. Okay. All the best. Ah, uh, Iza. Yeah. Ah, uh, sir. Ah, uh, sorry. Tadi saya sini sebenarnya network not so good. So tadi saya terkeluar masuk bawah masuk. Ah, uh, untuk yes. final assessment tu nanti saya kena kita kena masukkan kes tadi ke tak payah? Bukan masuk kaki study, you cari sendiri eh, eh, apa tu um, industri mana you nak pakai ke company apa nak pakai boleh tak ada masalah. Oh, build build on own lah, build on yes. own case yes. lah. Yes yes Alright. yes. Alright, okay. So, okay. Uh, thank you so much sir for everything. Okay. Uh, okay. I rasa saya sangat-sangat kagum dengan sir punya uh, perjalanan mencari ilmu tu. So, rasa oh, okay. saya okay. sangat. Okay, I'm also a student now. <laughs> Alright, I'm still a student. Inspiring lah, inspiring. Okay, okay. All the best. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you.